Welcome to the annual haulage trials in the Bavarian village of Wenig-Hersbach. Although it doesn't have a long tradition, it's become quite an event, at least locally. Fun for all the family, especially those families with horses. <laughs> The rules are very simple. There is a field 40 meters long and a sled. The sled is carefully positioned at the start line and laden with weights. Then there are the horses. They have two minutes to pull the sled from one end of the field to the other. A simple enough task, but with a nervous and inexperienced animal like this one, a fair challenge. Whips and sticks are not allowed and the reins are to be used for guiding the horse, not for driving it. There are three rounds. In this, the first, the horse must pull its own body weight. A more experienced contestant, by the name of Moritz, shows how it should be done. The rules also state that the task should be completed at a walk, and so the owners must try to dampen the horse's enthusiasm. Not a problem here. Sometimes curbing a horse's enthusiasm can be tricky. Those that make it through to the second round are faced with pulling one and a half times their own body weight. Since these horses are bred for muscle, they can weigh three quarters of a ton, sometimes more. This is one of the lightweights, weighing in at about 730 kilos, is pulling 1.1 tons. There is actually a serious side to this. These are working horses and are actually put to work, especially in forestry. They do less damage than machinery and can get to places tractors can't. It may look like torture, but these animals are bred for this and are quite willing, even eager, to do the work. Since only the voice may be used to drive them, there is no way they can be made to do something against their will. <laughs> A horse with the experience of Moritz knows how to pace himself, which is very important to avoid injury. Even so, the two-minute time limit that in round one seemed so incredibly over-generous is suddenly only just about enough to complete the task. Too much brute force and the chain snaps and timeout is awarded to replace the broken equipment. 
This horse, incidentally, is working for the very first time on a load that's not on wheels. All of the enthusiasm in the world won't compensate for inexperience. And so, having got absolutely nowhere, the owner throws in the towel. <laughs> It's explicitly written in the rules that the horse's health and safety is paramount. Those that make it through to the third round are expected to haul twice their own weight, a Herculean task, especially this year as the dry conditions meant that the sled was just that much more difficult to pull. Those that don't make it to the finishing line, and this year that was all of them, have the distance they actually travelled measured to decide the eventual winner. If more than one does cross the line, there may be a tie break or the time they took is taken into account. Remember, this is twice their own body weight they're hauling on a sled. Okay, and I would say, if you have here under Bobby Anzit, then we are here in my picture, right? Bobby, geführt von Thomas Müller, 16 Meter 65 und damit natürlich auf Platz 1. Right after the individual classes, we move on to teams of two, following the same rules. This adds an extra complication into the mix. Now, the horses must pull simultaneously and with the same application of force, otherwise they're going to run into problems. In this class, even more than in the last, experience is far more important than muscle power. The teams of four are supposed to be the highlight of the event. Unfortunately, a combination of the dry ground and the fact that most teams hadn't worked together before meant that a little chaos ensued. This class had to be hastily reorganized, but by this time it was getting late and we had to go home, so we missed it.